Hey, how's it going guys? We're back with a new video. Um, so, bad news is our Patreon server is coming to an end, which means all the bases that have been, been created on there will be wiped pretty soon. Um, but before we do that, I decided I'm going to make a video on showing you guys what uh, everyone has been building on the Patreon server. We've actually got quite a few nice places to show you. I have gone around and uh, tried to look for something I didn't know about. I have, I think I have all of them marked down, I'm not too sure, but we'll show you guys, we'll, we'll take a look what uh, people have created. I have RJ sitting next to me, RJ say hello. Hello everyone. So she's going to comment on some things as well, she's going to sit next to me and uh, we're going to go through these bases. Now, the first base is built by Brian, he stays next to our base, our base is over there, I'll show that one last, a lot of you guys know how it looks like anyway, and I built this bridge to come and mess with Brian's base and plant trees. <laughs> Now, I have changed up a bit with your guys' bases. I've, I've kind of chopped all the trees down around it, just so I can show you guys. I don't want a bunch of trees in the way. And I've removed the land claim block so I can get through your doors. So, <laughs> that's what I've done. Now, I know Brian got raided by zombies, so you can see he's just patched things up. But, uh, yeah, this is just a very basic house he's got going on over here. And then you've got uh, his hold night place. I think that's his... I'm not too sure. But let's go inside. Let's go see what he's been doing. Let's smash his door down. Not a problem. You can see he's been raided by zombies, and I actually think he gave up on it because, uh, yeah, once the zombies come and uh, break into your base and destroy all the stuff, it's like, oh, damn, what's the point? But uh, you can see he's patched up where he can. Damn, looks like he already had an intense horde night. <laughs> Took all the damage, RJ. That's crazy. If he, if only he didn't have you, RJ, it would have been all fine. Yeah, it would have been all perfectly fine. Okay, let's go down. So, yeah, just a very basic base. I wanted to add, I'm, I'm going to try add all your guys' bases uh, to the video, even if it's very basic. I mean, uh, I think this is just where he stayed, so he didn't really spend Horde Night in there. And then he, when we were playing, I saw he was building this thing. I'm not too sure what this is about, but let's go inside, let's break those doors down and, and take a look. I can't look in the chests because that didn't copy over. I've got think. all jammed, so... Yeah, all jammed, so I can't get in there. Let's go down, but you can see him just going to fly around. He was building a, on the side of the mountain. That's one of the things I like most about this nitrogen map uh, generator. It's so nice. You guys check a look, look at this mountain uh, and the way the, the rivers and stuff go through. I mean, do you like it, RJ? I think it's incredible. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, the whole map, if I can show you guys, it's just so nice. Uh, next time we run uh, a server on uh, probably Alpha 19, uh, I'm going to run uh, the nitrogen map as well because it's just so much better than uh, the, vanilla, the vanilla maps. Uh, that's if the fun pimps don't go and change it, which I hope they do. It's looking a lot better, though, the, the random gen. Much better than what it was. Hang on a second. Where is my... There you go. Let's go inside. This just looks like a mine. What's he been up to? Let's see. Oh, okay. So a little room down here. He should have put his, uh, his loot down here. And they would have been raided by the zombies. Yeah. <laughs> is anything else? Okay. No, that's that's pretty much all he's got uh, built over here. Okay. Not too bad. Let's go take a look at his Horde Knight base. Now, a lot of you guys have seen this base before. I have featured this base. I think it was done by um, Spiffy. Spiffy? So. Um, yeah, he had a base and he sent it to me and we tested it out on the Horde Night. You guys have probably seen that video. I'll have it displayed on the screen now. So if you want to go watch that, you can go take a look. So this this base works really well. The zombies fall inside here and uh, you're pretty much safe because the zombies can't really uh, attack that. But uh, you can see he has the same sort of idea. I don't know what these hatches are for. I saw these hatches here. I'm not too sure what they're for. Maybe, uh, maybe to kind of close uh, the spitting cop zombies. I don't know. It's pretty cool, nonetheless. I like this base. It's a, I, I, I call them glitch bases because the zombies can't get to you. That's what I call them. A lot of you guys disagree, but that's fine. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, Brian's base. Brian, I wish you continued it because I think you've got some nice potential here, especially with this mountain here. I, I imagine if you could just go and... Uh, and you walled off the whole mountain. Yeah, well, you build a whole castle on the mountain. You know how good we are with the castle oh, things. Yeah. Imagine a nice castle right there. What do you guys think, eh? I actually thought of that when, when Brian moved here near our base. I was like, come on, why don't we go steal Brian's spot and build a nice castle there and do a video on it. But yeah, I, it's just a lot of work to do the castle thing. So yeah, I'm going to jump onto the next uh, base to show you guys. Bear back. Okay, we are back. And I got one thing to say about this base. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is the most creative base I've seen on, on ser every server we've ever done. And I have to say this, guys, but this is by far the best base I've seen on the server thus far. 
I mean, it is really just because you can see a lot of time has gone into this. Now, everything on the server is done by uh, survival. No one has cheated anything, and this is 100% real. He took his time and he did this. And wow, am I impressed? I don't know if he did this by himself or had someone with him, but I know he he he, he was involved. Um, so RJ, who was it? Tony Saka. Tony Saka. He built this thing. I can't tell you guys. Now, I've only been through this thing like quickly. I don't even want to get into the place. So I'm just going to glitch to the walls to try and show you guys. But damn, you can see that, uh, yeah, you put a lot of time into this. And in fact, I think all your guys' bases, after this video, I'm going to go and save them all and keep them. Just just because I can go back one day and show you guys this bloody landmine there. What are you trying to do? You're trying to kill me. Um, I can go back and maybe even run a whole night and do videos on these and see how it goes, if you guys don't mind. But... He has really gone, worked hard. I, I I don't know where to start yet. RJ, where to start? I don't know. No, no. I don't really know how this actually works. I'm I'm assuming you just stand anywhere and then you just survive whole night. But uh, I don't know. You can see a lot of damage over here. I have no idea how this works. But uh, you can let me know in the comments. But this goes down. A lot of wiring. Wow, it must have taken you forever. It goes down. And then there's just this area here. Let's go see what's this dead end. It's all the wiring is... It looks like he's color coded the the relays as well. Yeah, into certain portions. Yeah, with a big with a big base like this, you're gonna need to do that. And there's just so much. There's just corridors. He's put a bicycle in here to get around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, this is insane. Even a motorbike there. Damn, I like the colors. He's got a turret here yeah, in case uh, someone breaks in. Now these turrets actually, um, if you guys watch our streams and stuff, I had a stream we were playing on the server. These turrets actually shot me when I came down here. Yeah? And that was a long time ago, and this place has changed a lot since. Oh, look at this. That's so cool. Got a little, little kitchen area. RJ would love this place. I can imagine all those meat oh, stews. Definitely. So many meat stews for RJ. You need those. Uh, Tony Saka, we'll just put RJ down here for a week, and then you'll have enough food to last you forever. And then go through here. I can't actually get through, so I'll have to break the doors down. I'm sorry. Um, but here we go. Wow, okay, this looks like the, the, the engine room. What's inside here? Let's see. Oh, the forge. Okay, it's the forge room. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't, really ma it doesn't really matter if I break things because uh, we kind of downloaded the map onto our private uh, computers, so it doesn't really matter. If you go on the server now, all your stuff will be fine. Ah, but you see there's a big problem with this, RJ. That is. C can you guess? There's not enough room for... But lots of girlfriends. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. She looks at me funny. <laughs> Another forge in here. I don't think this is for bathing, though. I'm not sure what's up with this little forge area. Okay. Looks like some sort of vent. You know what, guys? I, I can't tell you how awesome it is with people's um, creativity. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Creative skills. Creative skills. There you go. That's better. You guys are really incredible. What is this? It's a light. You can switch with it a, on. With the zinc. I can't because the power's, up, the power's off. This just goes down to... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't see this. That is so cool. Check it this. It's very creative, I that, must say. That, that, that is really, really good. Well done. Very nice looking. How does this look? Damn. I, I honestly did not see this when I when I, when I went over it quickly. This is, this is really crazy. Um, is that supposed to be a waterfall? It is too. <laughs> oh, oh, you tried and it, it, you know, RJ spotted that. So yeah, it's kind of like a waterfall. I really wish the water was not so bad in this game. Yeah. You could make some nice stuff with it. But that, that, you know, that gets the idea. It does. And you got like a little uh, farming area. Damn. I really wish I had uh, had your brain here for a second. You got a little uh, upper area for, for corn and whatnot. And then this just goes to, I believe it'll go towards the trader, I think. Let's just see. That, well, that's what I would do. Would it go into the trader? No traders? Where does this go? Damn. Oh, okay, this goes to the main road. What does this say? <laughs> Tony Socks. It's like the, the entrance to Jurassic Park there. And then that goes to the main road. That is really cool, man. You've done a really, really good job. A pat on your back. And this is why I, I, I think this is the best base on the server. No offense to anyone else's bases. You guys have all done a really good job. It's just that you can see a lot of time has gone into this, and I think it deserves the best place on the server. But you guys can judge. You guys can be the, the final judges in the comments. So when we go through all the bases, you can say, hey, I like this one more uh, because of this and that. But I think... Uh, yeah, it's the color codes. I knew it. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. Oh, imagine all the power you're pulling, man. I'm going to give you a very hefty bill. My government would love you. 
They really, really, really love you. Everything color coded. I really wish they would change the, the, the paint textures or give us new ones. That'd be great. What's inside here? Yeah, I'm just breaking a bunch of doors now. It's the, the, the vent. The vents, yeah. I like it. That looks like a fan. And what's through here? Ooh, more secrets. So many little hidden passages and whatnot. This is like a, a perfect base for PvP. Okay, that goes to the top. A perfect base for PvP because someone breaks in, they get so lost, they don't know where uh, to go. That goes to the top. Okay. And this is his solo power section where he's color coded the things on the top as well so you can sort of see what's what. That's very interesting. Yeah. Um, just when you think this base is. Is that. Oh, that was the other bit. Just when you think it's. Um, Finished, there is another section he's built over there. So he's made himself a nice little home here. And there's this section. Wow, okay, this just, just goes on, doesn't it? Where does this go? I didn't see this either. Okay, this goes to a road, I think. Let's just make sure. Yeah. Yeah, that goes to the road. It goes to the road. But there is one thing I missed. It is over here. You go inside, that takes you all the way there, and you go up this section. And I'm sure... Didn't I, didn't I see a place yeah, over here? I think you, you can take off with his gyro Yeah, There you go. There you go. Huh? Oh, he's got his uh, 4x4 here as well, but I saw... Oh, yeah, I saw this plane he made. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, that, 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 you can see clearly that's a plane. That looks cool, man. If, if it was only uh, flyable, that would be even, even cooler. So you can see what he's, what, he's, what he's trying to accomplish here, and then it just goes out. And I believe he showed a picture on Discord at one point, showing us his lights, and I was like, how did he get the lights like this? He's, bu he's built these slits here, and down he's put the lanterns inside. Oh. So at night time, I'll show you guys, you can see at night time how nice this looks. Ho oh, ho, that looks so cool. So when you're coming in for a landing, you can see exactly where to land. I think that looks so cool. It reminds me from, you know, from Imperion. Yes. The lights in from Imperion. Yes. That is such a cool idea. I really want to use that next time I build bases and things. Good job, man. I like it. But uh, one more thing to show you of his. Now I might miss a few things because you guys have a lot of uh, a lot of secret little passages and whatnot. So I might miss things. I don't go through everything. I'm just trying to get the the video out there to show you guys just the the real big good stuff. But he's made himself a beach, and guess what, RJ? I'm almost certain this beach is uh, bikini bikini approved. <laughs> so you can wear your bikini at any time, not a problem. <laughs> So he's made himself a little private beach. Well, at least I think it is. So there you go. Come back, hang out with your friends, grab a beer. And then... It's uh, even got a restroom. It's got a restroom, a little vending machine. Let's go inside. Let's take a look. Oh. Does it say girls? No, it doesn't. Oh, he has the girls one. Is the man's one. Perfect. It's a perfect Horde Night base, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, one thing that really caught my eye, which I, I thought was really creative, and I don't know actually... Oh, yeah, you can actually craft them now. Never mind. Uh, he's made these mailboxes. As the, the the electric posts. Yes, yes. That that is really smart, and he's put a little uh, a light at the end of the um, the mailboxes. So <laughs> I would have never have thought of something like that. That really makes it look like it's a, an electric post thing. That is so creative, damn. But I think that's uh, all he has. He's he's put out these tiles and whatnot. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, you really have impressed me with this base. I really like it. It's very nice. Anything else I've missed? Let's see. What is this? You can come stand here, have a barbecue with your buddies. And, and then you can sit here with your binoculars and take a look at RJ lying with a bikini. <laughs> yes. Sneaky. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. What? Is that a bar? It's a bar. It's a bar. Electric fence posts. Don't get drunk. You're going to get electrocuted when you stand up. I like how he's just added a little bit of details everywhere. It's really, really, really good. Anyway, I think uh, we move on to the next RJ. Yeah. I think we've kind of explored everything on this base. Let's just go back quickly. I know this video might be quite long. There's a lot of things that you guys have, have come up with here. So I'll just show you through here so you guys can see what he's he's been he's been up to. I don't know what that is. It looks like... Uh, what is this? Some sort of mine, mine shaft area. Oh, okay. I see. All right. So we're going to go on to the next base and see you guys in a bit. Be right back. No, RJ. I, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Tanasaki wouldn't mind if you go nude at his private beach. I, I think it's perfectly <laughs> fine, RJ. <laughs> she, she's giggling. Um, so we're on to the next base. Uh, this is uh, Takuna and Paul's base. Yes. And I have chopped 
most of her trees down because she had so many trees and I, I, I couldn't really see um, how her base looked like. And I wanted to show you guys as well a bit of view. But uh, she's kind of uh, taken over one of the POIs that was here. And she has a bit of a Horde Knight base. I don't know if she used it. It does look like it's been used because there's quite a few uh, cracks. Oh no, it's just that that's cracked that I saw. Okay, oh, there you go. Yeah, it has been used. Okay. So that's her Horde Knight base. And I assume this is her living base. She's got a little wall around it, some towers in the, the one corner here. Um, so yeah, let's go inside. Let's take a look. Let's get my uh, my gun out and break everyone's doors down. I've got a mailbox. I like it how um, most of the bases that I've seen have mailboxes. It's like, what are you expecting, mail? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I like how you left the outhouse. <laughs> Is this for Paul when he gets, uh, makes you angry, uh, Takuna? You just put him in there, he can sleep in there for the night. That's very random how you kept that, that's quite funny. But this looks, looks a bit like a church. And, uh, got a wall, lots of open room, I like it. I think it starts off very basic. Yeah. Basic is good, RJ. And this is the inside. Okay, so if the zombies do get inside, you can stand up there and shoot them. I think that's, that was the idea, I hope. And, uh, you Maybe, I don't think this is all finished. I think that uh, they were still working on it. I kind of just grabbed well, RJ. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> behind there. That tricked me. Little fireplace. Got a, did you add this grill here? It looks like it. You can cook your sausages on there. I don't know why I thought of sausages. Just leave me alone. Okay, so we go up here. I believe this is... Oh, wow. This is nice and homey. This is perfect. Very. You got your two beds. Ah, so y you and you and Paul have a thing going on, I see. You know, hold hands during the the the, the blood moon. <laughs> oh, so romantic. Let's go outside. More doors. And, yeah, you could probably spend Horde Night over here as well. I I'm assuming this is what you started off with. You, you, you um, had a base here and you defended from this. And then one thing I, I told RJ is I like this tower. Yes. It looks pretty cool. Um, very thin, but uh, I wouldn't want him to stand up there for Horde Night. And then, uh, I like this. This is very homey, RJ. Very, very, very homey. Pot plants, what does this say? Useful yeah. um stuff. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. Uh, you know what? There's not, the one thing I like most about bases is that everything is close together. So you've got your workbench with your, your crates and your camera station. So it's all in one room. Instead of running to room to room to try to find the stuff, it's, it's just a mess. I like how she kept the light as well that came with the POI. And the safe and the chest. Yeah. Anything you got to say, RJ? Looks pretty cool. Pretty basic. Yeah, it's pretty basic, but it does the job. I like it. And then you've got this little arch walkway going to the walls. Yeah. Uh, she she based near a, a trailer as well, so that's nice. Nice and convenient. I don't know what's up with this, though. Why has this got a, like a hump here? I'm not sure. Oh, what's that? Secrets. I'm assuming this is like a mine. I don't know what she was doing here. Um, I think so. I think that is sort of like a mine. Yeah, what does it say? Does does mine does mine does mine does mine? <laughs> is that how you say it, RJ? Does mine does mine? Say it in Afrikaans. Does mine? Is that how you say it? I think so. I think so. okay, because uh, the, the Dutch and Dutch and German Afrikaans is eh, slightly similar. Slightly, slightly, slightly. Okay, that goes down there. What's behind this wall? Nothing. Okay, can't check the chests out. Let's go down. Break it. Okay, so this is just a mine. You got a nice mine yield, yeah. That's that's awesome. Lots of stuff to come and uh, come and mine away. Should have come to you for all the all the goodies. But uh, I think that's I think that's it, right? Yeah. That looks like it. What's this? Wait a second. I see something. Oh, that's just part of the POI. Okay. Every time I go underground and I see that, I'm like, oh, secret bases. Um, oh, one thing I did not mention is a farm. I think it's a pretty cool idea, actually. I never actually thought of something like this. You put the farm, and then you put these like. Um, what, yeah. are the, what are the diamond catwalk things? I don't know what they're called. But you, interesting thing, guys, you can actually climb these things. Check it out. There's a ladder. Okay. You can go up and stuff. These things are pretty cool. I didn't know that until, like, uh, way later on when you could actually climb them. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, Takuna and Paul's base. Nice. Good job. Let's go on to the next RJ. Okay, here we go in the middle of a desert. I don't know why like, people like to base here, but hey, you know, you want to sweat uh, like crazy, no problem. This is Lord Toxic's base, RJ. Okay. Uh, now, RJ has seen a little bit of this as well. We haven't gone inside as of yet, but we'll go soon. Um, I like how he actually built in the water. Yeah, not, not, not many uh, water bases around. Now, interesting fact, guys, you, you can actually base in the water and um, 
the zombies won't spawn uh, here in Horde Night. So that's uh, pretty cool. I like that. So if you want to be safe from zombies, that's what you have to do. Hang on a second. I've got to fix this uh, this burning sensation. Oh, I forgot how to do this now. There you go. So the, the only thing that... Oh, I have to use it like that. The only thing that I noticed is um, he's got no road here. I can imagine how difficult it must be to take your, your bike and drive on this uneven path here. Is there a road nearby? No, there's not. No. <laughs> um, so that's going to be a very uh, tough ride. But let's go inside. I like how modern it looks. It looks like a very one of those space movies when you're watching them. And I like how you can't see it from a distance back then when you had the mountain. And you only can go near. I mean, as you go near, the base actually appears. Yeah, it uh, only appears there. And I didn't actually see this runway here, so I'm assuming he uses that more often. Um, so it's not. So when you have like survivors and stuff walking around, you don't want to know where your base is. They yes. can't see it, so that's also good. I also don't like that. I really wish that the fun pumps would fix that. So if you're far away, you can see someone's base up on the mountain. I don't know. It's just nice like that. But uh, you guys can see what he's done here. It's pretty cool. You can come land his gyrocopter here. Nice and safe. Now, the one thing I like the most about this base, and I'll show you now, is when you go inside, it's all nice. It's all modern. It looks pretty cool. He's got a ladder going to his farm. Uh, if you guys hear a squeaking sound, that is my space key. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> squeak, squeak. He's got a, a little bit of a farm, one single tree. Very small farm. A very small farm, yeah. And then he's got his bed. Ooh, red. Red. Ooh, nice. Romantic. Not Lord my toxics. Oh, okay. You want to have RJ in your room? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> got a TV to watch channels. RJ can watch her soapies there. Uh, and you've got a forge here, which is uh, pretty cool. Nice thing is you can probably burn this forge as much as you want, and you'll have no. Um, Screamers. Oh, screamers, yeah, yeah, which is pretty good. A little jacuzzi. That's a very small jacuzzi, and uh, uh, Mr. Rich doesn't approve of that. And then, you see, this is the thing. Does that go down? Oh, it does. Damn. Uh, when I first, I didn't actually see the hatch there, which is pretty smart to leave it right there. So as you come in, you don't really look down. Um, I thought to get downstairs, you would have to do this. It's got a door here. Ah. Secrets. I would have had it like that, to be honest. I would have had it just like this. You go inside, where the water goes. And then you go inside, and then, yeah, there's that hatch that I just broke. Yeah, let's bring some mushrooms here. And uh, the inside... Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, Lord Toxics, what are you hiding? Oh my hmm. gosh, is he spying on me? Interesting, we gotta have a, we have a bit of a perv here, I see. What is this? RJ's biggest fan. Poster for RJ's pics when I get it. That what? is scary. That is absolutely wrong. Get some help. You need help. <laughs> Posters for um, poster for RJ's number when I get it. That is not happening. You can dream on. Um, RJ's so pretty. If what is this? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a, real, a really bad stalker here, RJ. Uh, yeah, I have to stay away. RJ rules. Uh, reach rules. What? Damn you! <laughs> That's not nice. What is that bottom? What's RJ? this? Mr. Reach sucks. Mr. Reach? It's not <laughs> nice. You like the I like the RJ flags. I guess that's uh, that's one nice thing. Damn, you got a real stalker there, a real perv, RJ. Got the RJ sign there. That's very sad to see that little perviness there, little toxic. <laughs> uh, got a little um, battery bank that probably powers the top. I think that's it. Is that all he has? Let's go down. I think it. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Well, little toxic. I like it. It's very modern. I like the modern look to it. I don't like the cobblestone look. You know, if you paint yeah. it like a white or something, that'll be pretty cool. Other than that, it's nice, it's modern, it, it's it's simplistic. You don't have to run around and find your stuff. Everything's pretty much in one area. And as well as you say from the Horde at night, um, during Horde night. So that's good. Good job, man. I like it. Anything else that I missed? No. So let's jump on to the next one. Now, I didn't actually know if I wanted to add this one to the list, but I thought I would do it anyway. You know, the more bases, the better. So uh, I came across this one. Very small. There could be more to it. I don't know. We'll see. This one is in the snow. And uh, he's kind of built himself in what RJ calls a crack. <laughs> <laughs> a butt crack. A butt crack. <laughs> Come on, RJ. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you can see this, this, this sort of crack thing here. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I wouldn't imagine how you would spend Horde Night yet. It might be pretty dangerous, all the zombies falling inside uh, RJ's butt crack. <laughs> I might try to make a base like that similar. Yeah, and see how it goes with a with zombie. But to me, what it looks like is the zombies actually didn't fall down here. I mean, there's no damage or anything like that. I think what the zombies did, they actually just followed the path to his base. That's what it looks like. But, uh, yeah, it's just a very simple base. I don't, I don't know whose base this is. Just came across it. Thought I would show you guys anyway. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. 
I really wish they would finish these bases. Yes. Because to me, it looks like there's so much potential for a place like this. And if, if someone's someone finished it, you could see the full potential of their mind, what they could come up with. What is all this? What is this? Just a hatch going down to nowhere. Ah, it's a pity. I'm, I'm sure we, uh, whoever was building this would actually have done a really good job if you finished it. So, yeah, if if you are watching this and this is your base, let me know in the comments because uh, I would like to know who actually built this thing. What do you want me to wear that? No, no, no. Shh. Okay, I'm, starting, I'm starting the recording. Oh, Shh. sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Okay, okay. Anyway, RJ, okay. let's just change the subject. Hey, guys. So, we're back. Um, can you figure out why there's no trees here, RJ? Like at all? Can someone steal our trees? No, 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 it's not our base. Oh. So there's a reason why there's no trees here. <laughs> guys, um, you see, I, I I told you guys a story once on my streams where I go to my friend and I steal all his trees and I pretty much cut down all his trees around his base so he has to walk really far to get his trees. That's that friend. We're at my friend's uh, Bronson's base. I will show you his little, uh, his little hardy hole thing he's got going over here, but he's got no trees. You can see my base is over there. <laughs> I've really? Come, I've come here and chopped all his trees down. And okay. I planted them over there. Okay. And and then he came and he, he chopped a few that side and he planted his own there so I wouldn't chop them down. So I don't know. <laughs> but uh, he's got a, a very small base, but I'll show you guys anyway. We go down into his hidey hole. But he's, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because he's actually decorated it quite nicely. It's a nice paint job and whatnot. So um, he's got a little a water machine and everything's nice and close. The only thing I do not like about this base is where he's put his forge and his workbench because... You should see how uh, how funny it is him uh, how funny it is for him to go up and down up and down because it takes forever. I'll show you it down there, and he's um, see it's not just Bronson. It's Bronson and Fenoy who stay in this place. Fenoy is uh, this is his room. You can see how creative he is. Very dull. <laughs> Very dull. And this is my friend Bronson's room. He's got his TV in his room. Nice. That looks cozy. Nice wine barrels on the side. Yeah, he's, he's decorated it quite nice. I like it. Good job. And what is this? What is that? I'm assuming it's supposed to be some sort of jacuzzi thing. Disappointed you didn't finish it. And it's supposed to be bigger. You need a, a larger girlfriend one. It's, this is the problem with this. Is I don't like about this base. You go all the way to the bottom just to get to your forge and your stuff. Well, I guess everything you need is pretty much down there. So you can spend yeah. you can spend like a couple of hours down here doing your thing. And then you can go up. And he's done this to prevent the screamers from spawning. So Either way, it is. Is it still spawning when you place a forge down? As far as I know, it doesn't. So if you put okay. it down at bedrock, um, the screamer might spawn or might not. I'm, I haven't actually tested this in a while, so if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But uh, what I've noticed is his forge goes away from his base, so if they do spawn, they're going to spawn about somewhere here. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's one way to get rid of the screamers. That's what he's done. But I don't like the, the distance between getting up and down. Yeah, would drive that, me, that would annoy me too. Yeah, it would drive me crazy. Because like a lot longer it takes to get up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Takes forever. But there is more to this base than just this. To where he spends his whole night. He's a little, a little bit of a farm which I used to come and steal his stuff. <laughs> yeah, he, he got a bit of beer there. We don't have beer. Yeah, we should take it and yeah, you know, we should take all the stuff and uh you know, yeah. you won't have anything. But uh, this is his little section here. Uh Fenoy, he actually uh tried to make himself a horde knife base. He never finished it though, I don't think. It's uh you guys might have seen this back in Alpha sixteen days. Um, in fact, there's some damage here, so he might have might have done something. Um, where the zombies fall into the pit and they get electrocuted, slowed down, I think, and then they fall again into some spikes and what and all that stuff. That's what I think. That's what he was trying to do. But you can see he has used it once because there was some damage everywhere. So okay, I see. But uh, that is all to you know their base that they got going on. Yeah, it's a nice little horde night base. I, I don't know how well this still works. Back in uh, back in Alpha 16, it used to work pretty well. Don't know about this this Alpha. You guys let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna go on to the next base. Anyone want to say hello? Yeah, I saw something go to the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. Go up there. Up there. Yeah, it's just a way in and out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. It's just a box. What's inside? Oh, the stuff actually went through. Okay. Nice, nice, nice rocks. We got an auger. Nice. I <laughs> should have come here earlier. Would have taken his auger. <laughs> we needed that. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll go on to the next one. RJ, I like these little islands. It's pretty cool. I, I see a lot of people like to base in these little islands. We should have done that too. We should have, yeah, when uh, when this person came and uh, <laughs> built it. Yeah, I wanted to actually come here as well. So, we are at my other friend's place. And we're going to try and say his name. 
His his original name is Wolfful Wolf. Wolfful Wolf, but uh, his name in the game is. You ready? <laughs> ready, RJ? Come on. <laughs> it's called Don King Don Killer. Don King Kong Killer. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that's what he wants us to call him. His, his name is Tonkin Congella. Tonkin Congella. That's how you say his name. So if you ever see him, you pronounce it like that. And that's that's the way he wants to be known. So make sure you say it correctly. Otherwise, you make him angry. I'll show you a picture of him now, of, of Tonkin Congella. There you go. There's a picture of him. You want to take a look how he looks like? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, think, I think I was trying to create a modern house here. Yeah, it's, it's it unfinished. Like it. It's unfinished. Yes. He never finished it. I think the main reason why I wanted to show you because it has potential and I wanted to show you guys his beautiful name, Tonkin Congilla. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here you go. This is his little uh, modern house. He was building it completely out of wood. I was advising him not to because it would fall down in like a couple of zombies. But he just wanted to do something quick. Personally, this is my first time seeing like, this place on the server. I've never actually traveled this far out. Yeah, RJ's never been here. I've been here once. And yeah, he was still building it. I, I think it had a lot of potential. You can see he was digging down. I actually didn't see this, but you put a for this forge down here. Um, but yeah, you can see this had some potential. And put some glass here, paint oh, yeah. it. It really did have some potential. And this goes up a little bit more. And just like a modern area. He's put these, uh, you know, little gardens on the on the outside, like balconies. So that's oh, pretty interesting. cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking maybe we should take over. Yeah. Maybe we should come and then and, and finish it for him and then do a video on it or something. I don't know. You guys let us know in the comments. What do you guys think? We should come and maybe do something with this? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, but because we're so close to our base, I'm just going to go fly over there, guys, and show you our base. We Again, we stand at this Brian's base, the first base we showed you guys. Uh, this is our base. Well, you guys... we, we literally we made a bridge. Just yeah, so we can yeah. Cross over. Made a bridge so I can go and make Brian's uh, Brian's day ang angry. <laughs> I used to go and cut his trees down. Yeah, I'm I'm a great I'm a great uh, neighbor. But uh, this is our base. We we never really played much to be honest with you. I mean, we did a lot of videos elsewhere. We never had much time to sit and play like everyone else. And, and we streamed the. Yes, we streamed, we streamed once, once, once or twice, I think. And we showed you guys what we were doing and all that. But uh, this is our farm. This is what we had going on with the farm. Uh, you know, I kind of ran out of ideas for this place. Yes. Especially with the roof. I didn't like the way it was looking. And when I start off with something and it doesn't look so great, I kind of I kind of get over it. So that's what happened. But I wanted to have the farm underground this time, so we had a bit of a farm. Sometimes we had zombies up, we'd shot them from down here. But you can go inside. Again, you see, I like how everything's in one place. Yes. I wanted to have everything in one place, so that's why, you know, we had everything... Nice and neatly placed, and we had our little bunker beds. Bunker beds. I like this. That's very, very nice. Yeah. Very cute too. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's a pity we're not together, RJ, but it's fine. We got this thing. Put our arms together. We can hold hands. Yes. <laughs> and this just goes up to our main uh, horde night base. We used to spend horde night in here. It was quite dangerous. It 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 actually worked not too bad, especially that the whole thing was made out of concrete. It 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 really worked okay. And then we had a bit of a, a tree farm here. That's all we needed. We had plenty of wood though. But uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much all we got to show you. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much all we got to show you on the Patreon server. I just want to say thank you to all the patrons who played on the server and for your Patreon ship, whatever you're going to call it. You guys have been, uh, you made the server like 10 times better than what it was. Yes. You know, without you guys, it wouldn't have been so good. What do you got to say, RJ? Anything? Um, they see all the names there. Eh? So, when I had a stream going, uh, I came to this mountain, I actually made a little pathway going up here, and I said, hang on, guys, this is like Mount Everest, come up here and put your name. Um, so everyone came and put their names here, which I thought that was really, 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 really cool of you. I'm glad you, you made the trip to come and put your name here, Kill Switch. Oh, Kill Switch peed. <laughs> you peed, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't see the yellow, there's no yellow. And uh, Tanasaka, James, wow. Yeah, all the people who actually played, yeah, Warren, how's it going? And, uh, yeah, you guys did uh, awesome. As Toxix was here. Hashtag 7. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to uh, become part of the Patreon server and stuff, we'll, we'll let you guys know on the Discord when we have the server going up again. Um, we plan on having it up on Alpha 19 again. There's not many people playing on it right now, and I don't think it's worth 
be keep keeping it up right now. So that's why we are kind of making an end to the Patreon server. Yes. So, yeah. Guys, remember, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And we'll see you in the next one. Anything you want to say, Roger? Yeah. Um, we didn't see you. Flygirl's also there as well. Oh, yes. Flygirl, we can't forget you. One of our very mo most loyal uh, watchers and subscribers. Yes. Thank you for that. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll bye -bye. see you in the next one.